What's happening YouTube? Moto Mike 805 here coming to you from the Moto Mike garage. Moto Mike 805 garage. And uh, I've got her. Say hi Colby. Hello. Be helping me today and we're going to be uh, installing the new LED tail light that has the turn signals built in. The fender eliminator kit and then because we're putting the LED light on we also got to put a new relay in. So first we're going to start off by putting the relay in uh, but before we get going make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up uh, comment and share and we'll get going right after this So to get going, we just got to take off these four bolts in the front. There's one, two, and then come over here. We got three, four. So once we get those off, the relay is uh, hidden behind that, that piece and we'll uh, be taking it off and putting this one on. All right, so once you get all four bolts out um, then we're going to wrap both sides of that plastic there and it just kind of pulls out away and then forward a little bit grab the bottom two yeah there we go so now we got that off and then if you can see right here is the relay that we're going to remove so go ahead and that just slides up towards you off of the mount there and then once that comes off you just unplug it so here's the connector there and then that is the stock relay right there now we got to take this little rubber boot off the back of it turn it around and then this will go on the new one. All right, so now we're gonna take that plastic piece and put it back on here, or rubber piece, which holds it to the mount inside the headlight there. You can use a screwdriver to lift it up a little bit, otherwise it's kind of hard to slide back on there. All right, so you get it on there like that, and you take it, once you get it started, you can pull the screwdriver out and just slide that rubber piece on the rest of the way. And then you're going to take that back up here and it's going to slide back onto that metal clip right there. Alright, so there's the clip. Now we're going to slide the uh, relay back onto there. Alright, now we got it started. We're just going to slide it back on there. And then we're going to take the connector and plug that connector back in. Kind of hard to get the camera and two hands in here so just slide that back on and that is it that relay is done before i put it back on i'm going to make sure the turn signals work they are the stock ones but i think it should still work with those relays all right so we'll turn the key on so the running lights work go ahead and do a signal ready my rear. All right, so that one works. Does the other one work? All right, they both work. So, oh, headlights on these don't come on unless the bike's running. So to get this uh, back together, we're just gonna do the reverse order. We're gonna pop this back on here and put the screws back in. All right, so that was a, a little bit of manipulating we had to do to get those pap the plastic piece popped back over the mounting holes there. So we're gonna put all the all four screws back in now. Uh, now we get this this side put in. Getting these put back in on this side. All right, we're gonna check one more time. Then we got it back together, make sure nothing came unplugged and we didn't pinch any wires. I got my uh, quality inspector right here, Mr. Biscuit. Biscuit, does this uh, pass inspection? Biscuit. Biscuit says yes, that passes inspection. <laughs> so that's good. So now we're gonna go to the back and. Um, 
start with the fender eliminator and putting the LED tail light on. All right, so now we're gonna start with the fender eliminator and this is the TST Industries fender eliminator kit. Once again, we got our quality inspector right here. Is everything past inspection biscuit? He says yes. So first thing we gotta do is take off the license plate because we need to put that on uh, the new setup when we get it done. So we take this off and we'll retain the uh, this hardware to mount the license plate back on when we get the fender eliminator added to it. All right, so once you got the license plate off, we're gonna grab the key out of the ignition up there and we'll need to take the seat off, which is turn that lift up and got the seat off all right so now we've got to take this wire here and get it out and unplug so go ahead and pull it out of there There's a little metal tab right here that you need to bend up and that way we can get the uh, wire here out so you pull it and then lift that slide that boot up off of there so you can get to the connector so yeah push that little connector in you can unplug that there. Now we're gonna feed this under here. And now we've got this disconnected here, which this is the part that goes to the turn signals there um, and the license plate light. So now we can start with removing these two bolts and this bolt here and this bolt over here. And then we'll be able to pull the fender off. All right, so we got our ratchet and a 12 millimeter socket with an extension. And we're gonna break these loose. All right, so just a heads up, I think the robot that put these together had uh, the torque setting on these things like super, super tight. Uh, those are kind of hard to break loose. So after we get all four of those out, then we'll pull the fender out. All right, so here's a pro tip. You see this, here's the four bolts here, these two and, the, and these two. Be really careful with this one because when you go to take it out, it will fall down this tube right there, which goes all the way down here. So we got it out after trying multiple tools. Uh, we were successful using the coat hanger and the magnet <laughs> so we could push it the rest of the way down the tube and then grabbed it with the magnet when it got down to that little opening right there. So note to self, be really careful you don't lose it in the tube. All right, so what we did to avoid that happening in the future was stuffed a piece of a paper towel down on both sides so uh, we don't accidentally drop the bolt down the tube again. Now we still gotta take these two off. Once you got them broken loose, then you can just do them by hand. Once you have those all the way out, you get your four bolts out. This will just come out and you just pull it back away from the bike. And then you gotta work that cable through that hole right there. So we'll grab this cable, feed it through the hole, and then there's that ugly fender. And here's what it looks like before we put the fender eliminator kit on there. We've got the fender off. All right, so now we're gonna take this piece here, which covers the hole up here. So go ahead and grab that. And then that slides up. And let's see, oh, okay, come back a little further. It's hard to look at the camera and do this at the same time. There we go. So once you get it, lined up just right. Then we're gonna take a bolt and put it through that hole right there. 
So you take the bolt, you take one of the small washers, which is already I've already got on there, and then that goes up in there, and then we go on top up here. And right, whoops, wrong hole. There you go. Oh, okay. And now you put the large washer on top, and then the nut on top of that, and then we've got the paper towel there, so we don't lose any more nuts and bolts. Keep my all right, so another pro tip here is this little nut right here. You can also drop it down in the tip sensor tray, and then you got to get a hanger to fish it out. So be careful putting that on there, the nuts on there, so you don't uh, end up dropping one down there. We're losing our nuts. So now we're going to take our 4 millimeter Allen wrench there and our 10 millimeter socket. Uh, Four millimeter will go down here to hold this in place right on there and come up on top with our socket and put that on there and tighten it up all right so now we got our nuts and bolts tightened up we got that piece on there it's kind of hard to see in here in the lighting we'll do a walk around in the light when we get done but we got those on there there are two more holes here right there but that's for if you do the license plate that's going to come down here there's nothing up here for that to bolt to because it's it's underneath there so that's where you would mount the license plate if you were going to do the style that hangs down right here but we're doing one that's recessed back a little bit looks a little cooler but no so, we're, so we're trying to figure out if we should put the bracket on first or the license plate first but i think it's gonna be easier if we put the license plate on here first and then try to mount the bracket up there. So we're going to put the screws on and put the license plate on the, the bracket real quick. Alright, so now we're going to take the license plate with our mounting hardware and put it up here. So we'll take that and we'll line it up with those holes right there. And then first probably need to stick a bolt through the back of that. Alright, so we got to take the license plate off because you can't get the Allen uh, wrench on that head with the license plate on there. <laughs> also, this bike loves eating bolts. Watch out for this hole right here. Because this nut, if you don't get it on just right, will fall down that hole. Not saying I did it. Just letting you know. <laughs> yep, so now we got the uh, Allen wrench on the bottom. We're going to tighten it now. It's a 10 millimeter uh, socket. Right, so we got all four bolts back on. There's those two, those two. Now time to put the license plate on the mounting bracket. All right, so part one and part two is done. The relay is installed. We got the license plate, the fender eliminator with the license plate relocation kit installed. It's a little sketch. Hopefully you don't get pulled over. It's folded up a little higher than I thought. But I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you're, a, if you're a cop and you're up in your car, it might be kind of hard to see. So we'll see. If he gets any grief, we'll buy the, the bracket that goes right here and we'll put it on. But I like the looks of this one a lot better than the other one. I think it looks looks pretty sick. We go up here. We got everything all tightened up. Next, we got to remove the tail light and install the new tail light with the turn signals in it, which is uh, not there. But, um, oh, it came with a sticker. <laughs> uh, here's the tail light kit. All right, so here's the tail light. You're gonna hand me the paperwork out of here. And, cool. Sweet. All right, so this clip right here, you need to take something like this, push the clip back to unlock it, and then get something else and slide it off that clip right there. And then we're going to get this up out of here, and then we can unplug this from the connector right here. So we gotta get underneath the locking tab here to lift that up and then it should just slide off like that and then you feed it back this way go through the wire 
So a cable management system here, pull that out. And now we just gotta unbolt these two bolts here and the tail light will pop out the back. All right, so now we're gonna undo these two bolts here to get the tail light out. And those are uh, 10 millimeter, not 12, like we were just trying to do. All right, back at it. All these bolts are pretty tight to uh, from the factory. Right, so now you can just get them off with your fingers when you got them broken loose. Don't drop them down. <laughs> Might as well. Let's see if we can do this one without dropping it. <laughs> We're gonna have to go get a pick or something to find that other one. Is he gonna do it? Can he do it? Oh my god. <laughs> He saved it! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to fish it out. And then need a different pick. A little bit of an angle in the pick. Well, went somewhere but not where I wanted it to go. Ah, there we go. I think we got it. Ah, got the got the, the bolt out. No. All right, so the tail light now should just pull out from there, maybe. Is there another? It feels like there's something else. Is there another bolt? Oh, I think those are just like. Oh, you just gotta like go here. It's it's it doesn't want to let go. It doesn't want to leave us. There we go. And just pull the tail light out. All right, so we got the new tail light. Just come through here, and then just have these self-tapping screws here. We'll put in. See if I can do something without dropping something. These are not threaded yet, so it's self threading screws that go into the telite housing here. Just want to get them started. All right, get the other one in here. So you just kind of want to bottom, bottom them out. And then once you get down to the bottom, eh, just snug them up a little more. Should be good. All right, so now we got the connector here. And this is when we took the turn signals off. And then the other ones, like, Going down, hiding from me down here. And we might have to get something to pull it back out. Hang on. All right, so I need some needle nose to go down there and grab it. So just put this on here, got that connector back on. The one from our turn signals. That's in like that. So we'll tuck this, let's feed this back up here real quick. Goes back up like that. This just tucks down in here. Oh, you know what? Been, this thing popped out, which would have been kind of nice to just pop that out earlier when I was trying to get that thing undone. That pops back in there. Wrap this, then that metal tab back to hold the wires down. Goes up in there, back into this. Cable management clip here. And come around like this. Pop that down in there. And let's see here. Looks like this. Line the clip up there. Right. Just kind of tuck that down like so. Let's uh, put the key in here, make sure that's not in the way of the latch. 
There we go. So that's want to make sure that was operating freely. So now we'll test it. All right. Go so we'll put the key in. We're gonna turn it on. See if the tail light. Hey, we got a tail light. See if the uh, turn signal works. Ooh, nice. You're going the right. That's the right signal, right? Yeah. Left. Left. All right. Want well, to make sure it wasn't backwards. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Oh, that is nice. All right, so turn the signal off. Use the front brake. Make sure the brake light works. Ooh, that's a cool brake. I like how it flashes. Nice. All right, hit the uh, foot brake. Make sure. There we go. All right, use the handbrake again. Pull the clutch in. Let go of the handbrake. Okay, I thought it was blinking earlier when you pulled the clutch in. I was like, we have a problem. You just didn't. No, I didn't pull the clutch in. <laughs> All right, so that is it. Now we're just going to put the seat back on, and uh, Kobe's going to take a little test ride in the in the driveway. All right, so we're going to just do a quick test ride. Got the seat back on. It is bright out here. Ooh, look at that taillight. Looks good. Sounds good. Hopefully I'm on Colby, it's so bright out here, I can't see him in the screen. Oh, you know what, I didn't check to make sure that the uh, blinkers are working in the front. Let's try the blinkers in the front, make sure they work. Yeah, that one's working. Other one. All right, looks good. <laughs> All right, so we got the uh, fender eliminator kit installed. We got the flasher relay we put in there, and we got the uh, new turn signal license or turn signal uh, rear the tail light with the turn signal built in. Blah, 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 blah. So I think it looks pretty sweet. I think it looks pretty nice. All right, YouTube, thanks for coming, watching this one, uh, how to, uh, and just to let you know, <laughs> now, now that we're done with this, PST Industries also has a how-to video on this, which is much more professional than what we do. I have a lot of respect for those out there that record how-to videos, because, man, working that camera and getting this stuff done is a pain in the butt. So remember, before we get out of there, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up, <laughs> comment and share and uh remember youtube right back everyone's a hired assassin trying to kill you stay safe out there youtube peace